Right, here we are again. We are, what, four days into 2021 and as we were promised a much better year than 2020, I must say it hasn't quite lived up to be that so far. Uh, Celtic probably have a, a fair bit to do with that. Obviously a really disappointing defeat to Rangers on Saturday and scandal. We've been used to hearing scandal at Celtic so far this season and it appears that We've hit a new low once again right at the start of 2021, 19 points behind our rivals at the top of the Scottish Premiership, out of the League Cup, out of the Europa League and Champions League. It's been a disastrous first half of the season, yet the team are still out in Dubai during a global pandemic that is worsening with every passing day. Scotland is now back where it was right at the start of this whole thing back in March. We're in full lockdown effectively now. Yet Celtic are out sunning themselves in Dubai alongside alcohol and stuff like that. Let's be honest, guys. It's not a great look, is it? So what then? The players deserve a little bit of time off, don't they? They deserve a few drinks. They're not even playing till next Monday anyway. I would argue that any elite football team shouldn't really be touching alcohol at all while on a so-called training trip. That's what Neil Lennon himself called it. He said that it's not a break, it's a training camp. It's just a change of scenery. We just hope to come back refreshed and ready to go. Been pictured sitting around what looks like a pool on some deck chairs like you are on holiday with pints seemingly there in the photo is not a great look for Celtic at all at any time when you're that far behind in the league but even more so during a global pandemic when the lifeblood of the club the support aren't able to get to pubs aren't even able to see family members and you know most notably aren't able to get to football matches I really don't think it's been a good PR move from Celtic to allow that to happen in my opinion after a defeat to Rangers and this may be unpopular with some viewers on this channel but I think they should be working a little bit harder I don't think they should be lounging around a pool the day after falling 19 points behind our rivals in our most important season in decades I think they should maybe be inside somewhere looking at video footage from the game Neil Lennon should maybe be studying where the derby at Ibrox went wrong and looking to put it right in future let me ask you this question do you think our previous management team of Brendan Rodgers and Chris Davies would have been pictured by a pool having some beers the day after they lost to Rangers 1-0 at Ibrox at the end of 2017? I'll answer that one for you. No, they wouldn't. And when you consider this current Celtic team are 19 points behind our rivals at the top of the Scottish Premiership, we're out of the Champions League, we're out of the Europa League after finishing bottom of our group. We're also out of the League Cup. Do you really think there should be alcohol of any kind during this training camp? Ah, but Celtic are only doing what they've done in the last five years. Well, I've got a problem with that and the main problem I've got is that this isn't like the last four or five years. One, we're in the midst of a global pandemic that wasn't a thing the last four or five winter breaks. Two, there's not actually a winter break in Scotland this year. As much as Celtic may be claiming that they're away to Dubai during their winter break, there is no winter break. We've not got three weeks like last time. We play Hibs a week today on Monday. That's a game that should have been played this weekend that we moved because we're going to Dubai. But also with three games in hand and a real need to try and apply some sort of minimal pressure to Rangers, do you not think we should have been trying to play one of those games this midweek, getting more matches under our belt for the likes of Turnbull and Sorrow and as I say, applying a little bit of pressure to Rangers rather than being off in Dubai drinking pints by a pool? But the real frustration here from supporters comes for a couple of reasons. The main one that I've already touched on is the fact that the team have performed so badly this season. We have failed in all our expectations so far. You could argue that apart from a few games in the Scottish Cup, our season is now over. You could argue that and it's, as I say, an absolutely huge season and you could argue by the start of January that our season is now over. 
So is it a good look at any time for Celtic to be out drinking pints? Even at the end of the season, you would argue it's maybe not a great look to be photographed like that. But during the midst of a season, after such a disastrous first half of the season, certainly not a good look. When you add into the fact that we are in the middle of the COVID pandemic, a world health pandemic that is affecting everyone, it's affecting the Celtic support who paid or came in in greater numbers than ever before with regards to season tickets this season. 53,000 people signed up for season tickets. None of them have even seen a minute of football in the flesh at Celtic Park. They have seen a team massively underperform. They can't get to the pub at the moment. They can't watch the games. They can't even see family members at the moment. Yet they can see images of players going out and drinking in Dubai. And the worst thing is that they probably have funded it themselves from the season ticket money because that's the way Celtic work. It's an awful look for the club and it's just symptomatic of the drop in standards since Brendan Rodgers left and was replaced by Neil Lennon. And the fear here for Celtic and knowing how our season has gone, I wouldn't even count this out as a possibility, is that somehow we end up with a positive Covid case or maybe more coming back to Scotland and some of the, the images and videos that have been seen it certainly doesn't look like the Celtic first team players are being kept separate from the general public in Dubai that would certainly be a worry from my point of view are they going to come back in good condition for the important game against Hibs a week today are some players going to miss that game with Scotland going into full lockdown what are the quarantine rules going to be for us returning? I know the rules are at the moment that so-called elite athletes, which I would argue is kind of on the fence with regards to our players at the moment, don't have to isolate on their return. But I understand that that's to do with them going and performing in terms of sport abroad. I don't think that's the case with these Celtic players. It certainly doesn't look the case in that image we saw of Scott Brown, Neil Lennon and others. So yeah, it's an absolute PR disaster. You may argue that there's nothing to it and that players should be allowed to enjoy themselves on time off. I would argue that they've done nothing to deserve that time off so far this season. The the management has been awful. The amount of mishaps we've had at the club from balling goalies, trip to Spain at the start of the season to Karamoko Dembele and Mohamed El Yunusi both been caught on their phone during games to... Armstrong Okoflex's misdemeanours, if you want to call it that, on Instagram, to Lee Griffith's fitness issues, to some of the comments made by Neil Lennon, to all the on-pitch stuff that's happened. It's been an unmitigated PR disaster from Celtic's point of view, and this is just added to it. I just would love to know the thinking behind going to Dubai. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of this crazy crazy decision from Celtic what you think of the images you saw has it been blown out of proportion in your opinion um, how do you view it and remember if you've not yet subscribed to the channel I really would appreciate you doing that as well let's get 2021 off on the right foot unlike our team